Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a method to make a two ingredient homemade puff pastry. I cannot believe it's going to be New Year's in just a couple of days and for this week's video I thought I would just share with you this two ingredient puff pastry recipe that I learned years ago. Um, this one is over on the blog so I am going to link the recipe link in the description box below for those of you that like to follow along with it in read uh, format. And there's also a printable recipe card there for you as well. I wanted to share this one in particular because there's so many times that I go to the store and I forget something like puff pastry because I don't buy it very often. Um, and with New Year's almost here, it's great for appetizers, it's great for desserts, and even for savory dishes that you want to top if you're making something special uh, for the holiday. This is actually a lot like making a pie crust. And if you caught the video where I shared my two ingredient pie crust, uh, which I will link for you below if you did miss that and you're looking for a pie crust recipe. We're gonna take this a step further from pie crust where we're gonna do a series of rollouts and folds to create that really delicious, buttery, flaky crust that puff pastry is known for. To make puff pastry, you don't really need any special tools other than a rolling pin, a large bowl, some plastic wrap, and a pastry cutter, or you could use your hands, believe it or not. But today I'm gonna to use my food processor. It's just a lot faster that way to do. So if you have a food processor, I definitely recommend using that. It'll go a lot quicker for you. But either way, you can make puff pastry with just a few things. So let's go ahead and get started. For our two ingredients, I have cold salted butter, or you can use unsalted butter, whichever you prefer. And I have all purpose flour. I am also gonna add just a little bit of really cold water to this to help bind it. Going in, we have two cups of all-purpose flour and one and a quarter cups of salted butter that I have here. The water is not included, of course, on the ingredient list, but I figure everybody has water. So I'm gonna add a half a cup of really cold water to this. Blend until a dough ball forms. If you're using your hands, you'll just put the flour and butter into a large bowl and the water and you'll pinch the butter into the flour until the dough ball forms. Remember, there is a lot of butter in this, so it's gonna be very chunky with butter, but it should look just like this, nice and crumbly. I'm gonna flour a surface and get this dough formed and then I'm gonna roll it out. Make sure you have extra flour handy so that way you can flour your board well as well as your rolling pin. I'm going to roll this out into about a rectangle shape and then fold it over three ways just like a piece of paper. And next I'm going to wrap it tightly in plastic wrap. our first set of roll out and folds. We're gonna wait 30 minutes, let it sit in the fridge, and then we're gonna do it again. We're gonna complete this for four different roll out and folds until the puff pastry is ready to go. And this takes about two hours to fully complete, but don't worry, you don't have to sit here and babysit it. You can actually do, go about your day, do your thing, but just know that that is how long it takes to make puff pastry from start to finish. So if you're trying to make this for dinner, just keep that time frame in mind. And again, if you need the puff pastry to rest longer, that's completely okay. Now that our dough has set for 30 minutes, I'm gonna take it back out of the plastic and we're gonna roll it again. If you need to use extra flour for this because the butter's sticking at all, feel free to do so. But we're gonna do the same shape and the same idea. We wanna roll it out into a rectangle and then fold it like a piece of paper again. If you find your dough sticks on the bottom, a bench scraper works great for helping to fold it over. This one's ready. We're gonna wrap it back into our plastic wrap and place it back into the fridge for another 30 minutes. 
Okay, we are on our third rollout. I removed it from the fridge. It's been sitting for 30 more minutes. And now we're gonna do the exact same process of rolling it out into a rectangle. You'll notice the dough begins to become quite smooth at this point. Okay, now for our fourth and final rollout. You'll notice at this point the dough becomes a little bit more stiffer. Just lean into it, put a little bit more body weight onto your roller and it should be fine. It'll wiggle and eventually stretch back out into that rectangle that you need. Sometimes I do still at this point have to add a little bit more flour, but again, just keep working in the dough and you'll be able to fold it once again. Now that our puff pastry is all ready to go, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it looks once it is baked. So what I have here is some chicken pot pie filling. I decided instead of using biscuits or a crust, I'm gonna use the puff pastry just to share with you how this looks after it's baked. When you bake your puff pastry, it's a good idea to use an egg wash and you make that by just cracking an egg, whisking it with a little bit of water and brushing it on the top of the puff pastry and baking. And it'll come out nice and golden and just beautiful and I'm going to share it with you here in the video and there it is our puff pastry is nice fresh out of the oven it's golden it's flaky and it's ready to be enjoyed So that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed making puff pastry with me today. Again, you can find the full recipe in the description box below, along with that two ingredient pie crust. Happy New Year's and I will see you next year.